ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨ ਅੰਗ 577 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਾਏ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਵਿਡਹੰਸ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਕਿਆ ਸੁਣੇ ਦੋ ਕੂੜ ਵੰਜਣ ਪਵਣ ਚੁਲਾਰਿਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਸੁਣੀਰ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਜੋ ਸੁਣੇ ਦੇ ਸੱਚ ਤਣੀ ਕਿਆ ਸੁਣੇ ਦੋ ਕੂੜ ਵੰਜਣ ਪਵਣ ਚੁਲਾਰਿਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਸੁਣੀਰ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਜੋ ਸੁਣੇ ਦੇ ਸੱਚ ਤਣੀ ਸੰਤ ਤਿਨ ਕੋਲ ਕੁਮਾਈ ਜਿਨ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਸ੍ਰਵਣੀ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਰਾਮ ਸੇ ਸਹਜ ਸੁਹੇਲੇ ਜਿਨ ਹਰ ਹਰੇ ਰਸਨਾ ਭਣਿਆ ਰਾਮ ਸੇ ਸਹਜ ਸੁਹੇਲੇ ਗੁਣ ਹੈ ਅਮੋਲੇ ਜਗਤ ਉਧਾਰਨ ਆਏ ਭੈ ਬੋਹਿਥ ਸਾਗਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਚਰਣਾ ਕੀਤੇ ਪਾਰ ਲਕਾਏ ਜਿਨ ਕਉ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਤਿਨ ਕਾ ਲੇਖਾ ਨਾ ਗਣਿਆ ਕਹੁ ਨਾਨਕ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਕੋਲ ਕੁਮਾਈ ਜਿਨੇ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਸ੍ਰਵਣੀ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਲੋਇਣ ਲੋਈ ਢਿੱਠ ਪਿਆਸ ਨ ਬੁੱਚੈ ਮੂ ਘਣੀ ਨਾਨਕ ਸੇ ਅਖੜੀਆਂ ਬਿਆਨੇ ਜਿਨੀ ਡਿਸੰਦੋ ਮਾ ਪੇਰੀ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੋ ਜਿਨੀ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਡਿਠਾ ਤਿਨ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੇ ਰਾਮ ਸੇ ਸਾਚੀ ਦਰਗਾਹ ਭਾਣੇ ਰਾਮ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਮਾਨੇ ਸੇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨੇ ਹਰ ਸੇ ਤੀ ਰੰਗ ਰਾਤੇ ਹਾਰੇ ਰਸ ਅਕਾਏ ਸਹਜ ਸਮਾਏ ਘਾਟੇ ਘਾਟੇ ਰਮਈਆ ਜਾਤੇ ਸਈ ਸਜਣ ਸੰਤ ਸੇ ਸੁਖੀਏ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਭਾਣੇ ਕਹ ਨਾਨਕ ਜਿਨ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਪ ਡਿਠਾ ਤਿਨ ਕੈ ਸਦ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਦੇਹ ਅੰਤਾਰੀ ਅੰਤ ਸੁੰਨੀ ਨਾਮ ਵਿਹੁਣੀਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਫਲ ਜਨਮ ਜੈ ਘਾਟੇ ਉਠਾ ਸਚ ਤਣੀ ਚੰਤ ਤਿਨ ਖੰਨੀਆਂ ਵੰਨਿਆ ਜਿਨ ਮੇਰਾ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਡੀਠਾ ਰਾਮ ਜਨ ਚਾਖ ਅਕਾਣੇ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਮੀਠਾ ਰਾਮ ਹਰ ਮਨ ਹੈ ਮੀਠਾ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਤੂਠਾ ਅਮਿਓ ਉਠਾ ਸੁਖ ਭਏ ਦੁਖ ਨਾਸ ਭਰਮ ਬਿਨਾਸ ਤਨ ਤੇ ਜਪ ਜਗਦੀਸ ਈਸਾ ਜੈ ਜਏ ਮੋਹ ਰਹਤ ਬਿਕਾਰ ਥਾਕੇ ਪੰਚ ਤੇ ਸੰਗ ਟੂਟਾ ਕਹੋ ਨਾਨਕ ਤਿਨ ਖੰਨੀਆਂ ਵੰਨਿਆ ਜਿਨ ਘਟ ਮੇਰਾ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਬੂਠਾ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਜੋ ਲੋੜੀ ਦੇ ਰਾਮ ਸੇਵਕ ਸਈ ਕੰਟਿਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਜਾਣੇ ਸਤ ਸਾਈ ਸੰਤ ਨ ਬਾਹਰਾ ਚੰਤ ਮੇਲੇ ਜਲ ਜਲ ਹੈ ਖਟਾਨਾ ਰਾਮ ਸਾਂਗੇ ਜੋਤੀ ਜੋਤੇ ਮਿਲਾਨਾ ਰਾਮ ਸੰਗ ਮਾਏ ਪੂਰਨ ਪੁਰਖ ਕਰਤੇ ਆਪ ਆਪ ਹੈ ਜਾਣੀਐ ਤਹ ਸੁਨ ਸਹਜ ਸਮਾਧ ਲਾਗੀ ਏਕ ਏਕ ਵਖਾਣੀਐ ਆਪ ਗੁਪਤਾ ਆਪ ਮੁਕਤਾ ਆਪ ਆਪ ਵਖਾਨਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਭ੍ਰਮ ਭੈ ਗੁਣ ਬਿਨਾਸੇ ਮੇਲੇ ਜਲ ਜਲ ਹੈ ਖਟਾਨਾ ਆਪ ਗੁਪਤਾ ਆਪ ਮੁਕਤਾ ਆਪ ਆਪ ਵਖਾਨਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਭ੍ਰਮ ਭੈ ਗੁਣ ਬਿਨਾਸੇ ਮੇਲੇ ਜਲ ਜਲ ਹੈ ਖਟਾਨਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ is blessing us today in sloks of two lines and shants of six lines Sadguru Pasha ji is talking to the senses today and giving each of our senses updesh giving our eyes our ears our body our tongues updesh of what we are to do 
with each of these blessings that have been conveyed upon us by Vaheguru these organs that we have and Satguruji begins and Maharaji asks a question Maharaji says O oh human being O oh Guru Ka Sekh Kya Sune Do Kood Why do you Sune Do Why do you listen Kya being the question Why To Kood To falsehood Maharaj is saying that Why are you using these ears Which has been blessed to you Which are Not your right They are blessing by God God could have not given you them But God has given you them Why are you using these blessings to listen to falsehood. Vanyan Pavanachula Rea Maharaj says that this falsehood will vanyan will vanish like a chura chula rea like a breeze of pavan of wind. Like the wind breeze is past and that's it, it's gone. In the same way Sadhguruji says that this falsehood that we talk of this slander that we listen to with our ears which we accept and we pass on like a breeze of wind we hear a bit of slander and we pass it on we hear something about someone and we don't know whether it's true we don't know anything we don't know the situation and we move it along and Guruji says why are you listening to this falsehood is this why I gave you ears why Guruji is saying so you could partake in this falsehood Every day in our Panj Baniya, in Anand Sahib Dibani, Guru Amar Das Ji says, and this is on 922 of Guru Granth Sahib Ji in Ramkali, E Sravan Ho Mere Ho, O my ears, Satya Sunana No Pathai. You have been Pathai, you have been created to listen to the truth, to listen to true Bani. And Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj does a radas on Ang 820 of Guru Granth Sahib Ji themselves does a prayer in front of God Mere Mohan Oh my Lord Sravani Ehna Sunai Do not let me listen to these things with my Sravani with my ears Saak the Geet Naad To Nagavat Bolat Bol Ajay Don't let me listen to the faithless cynic who sings his songs and tunes and chants his useless words do not let me listen to those, those things which will break my faith in you, O oh God. Satguru Pashadi Maharaj is giving this update saying do not listen to the falsehood because if we listen to the falsehood we let that falsehood enter the temple of our body through the doors of our ears that it will pollute our heart, mind and soul when we hear something with our ears when we hear slander with our ears it puts hatred into our heart and Sadhguru Pashaji is saying be warned of this, be wary of this and Guru Maharaj is giving us this beautiful update and Pai Gurdas Ji also says How this kol kumaya Par ninda sun aap hatave I am a sacrifice to that person Par ninda Who when hearing backbiting and slander of others Sun aap hatave He detaches himself and he stops others as well From that And Satguru Sahib Ji is saying Kya sunne do kood Why are you listening to falsehood Vanyan pavne chula reya why are you allowing yourself to be taken another meaning of this why are you allowing yourself to be taken into the chalada into this breeze of wind into this gust of wind you know like a gust of wind picks up a leaf and throws it about in the same way that falsehood picks us up picks up our mind and throws it about into hatred into anger into greed into falsehood Maharaj is saying why do you allow yourself to be picked up like a leaf and tossed around in this way you will never find a piece of uh, 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 you will never find a place of peace you never find a place of rest if you allow yourself to be picked up by every breeze. Maharaji says, Nanak, Satguru Pasha Ji is saying, Suniyar te parvana, those suniyar, those ears are parvana, blessed. Jo sunete, 
who listen it, they who listen to Satchitani, my Satch, my truth, and Master, who listen to the true Guru's Bani, those ears are blessed. The only listen to the Bani and only listen to the name of God, Shant. Sadhguru Pahayat is Kol Kamai. I am a Kol Kamai. I am a sacrifice to those Gurmukh Pyare, those people, those beloved saints, Jin Prabh Saravani Sunyaram, those who with their saravani, with their ears, Sunya, have listened to and listened to Prabh my Vahiguru and the songs of my Lord. As Guru Nanak Dev Ji says in Soila Sahib Dibani, which every Sikh sings at night before resting, Mere Nirpao Ka Sohila. What is Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Sohila, the songs of my Nirpao, of my fearless Lord. And those Guru Mukhpare who listen to this Nirpao Ka Sohila, Sadhguru Ji says that I am a sacrifice to them. Say Sahaja Sohile. Jin Hare Har Rasana Pane Aram. Those who have Pane, who have chanted with their Rasana, with their tongue, the name Har Har Vahiguru Vahiguru. The name of our beloved Lord. Call him Allah Ram or Vahiguru. Say Sahaj Suhile. They fall into Sahaj, into a complete state of peace and rest. And Suhile, a complete stage of comfort where there's no coming and going in a complete stage of happiness. They have this happiness and they have this peace and poise. And they are embellished with the virtues which are amole, which are priceless beyond all prices of the world. Jagat Udar and I. And they have I. They have come onto this Jagat on this world to Udar and to liberate themselves and others. This Sagar, this ocean of Pair, this ocean of fear which is all around us. In it, the Bohit. The boat is Prabhacharana, the feet of my lotus lord, the Shabbat of the Guru, Kete Par Lankai, and with the, the Shabbat of the Guru, Lankai takes Par, crosses over so many. Another meaning of this line is Pair, Bohit, fear of Vaheguru, fear of God, fear and love of God is the Bohit, is the boat in this saga, in this ocean of the world. And when the, in this boat you are to enshrine Prabhacharana, the feet of the Lord, the, the Guru Shabbat, Kete Par Lankai. And those people who have done this, they have taken not only themselves but Kete, many others with them across this world ocean. Jin kao kripa kari mira thakur, those who have been blessed with kripa, with grace by mira thakur of my Lord. Tin ka lekha na ganea. Their lekha, their account is not ganea, is not read, is not looked through. Their accounts are ripped up. As Guruji says, their accounts are not called for. Like Guru Ram Das Ji says on 698 of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Dar Fare, the, the righteous judge of Dharma, Dharmaraja, Kagad Fare rips up their papers, Jana Nanak Lekha Samja, because my Lekha, my account has been settled by the Guru. The Guru has settled their accounts. There's no need for them to worry. Kaho Nanak, Sadhguru Ji says this call. Come on, I am a sacrifice to them. Jina Prabhu Sravani, Sunaya. Who have Sunaya, who have listened to my Lord with their Sravani, with their Sloka. Guru Ji blesses us with another Sloka. Loi and Loi Dit. With my Loi and with my eyes, I have Dit. I have seen this Loi, this world. This Lok, this world. Pyasana Bhutcha Mukani. But it does not budja, it does not extinguish. Mu kani, mu means my kani, means great, overwhelming, pyas, pyas means thirst. Looking at all this world, my pyas, my thirst has not been put out. Nothing in this world can put out my pyas, my, my thirst, Guruji is saying. As Pai Gurudas Ji says, Akhi vekna rtiyan barang tamase. My eyes have not been satisfied with beholding all these sights and exhibitions and all these things, rang tamase, going on in the world. Because really I am looking for my Lord, my husband. Another meaning of this line, Loin loi dit pyas na It doesn't matter how much with my loin with my eyes that I loi, I see the light of God. 
again and again I have darshan of Wahidu Piyasana Bujjah, my thirst for Wahidu cannot be Bujjah, cannot be put out Nanak, Sadhguru Ji says, Akhriya Bayan Those eyes, those Akhriya Bayan are different, they are other eyes Jini Disando Maapiri, with which I am going to Disando see Ma means my Piri Lord Which eyes are they? They are the eyes of Barag and Bibek. Barag meaning unattachment to the world. Bibek meaning understanding of the Lord. What eyes are they? They are the eyes of Aproksh and Proksh Gyan. Aproksh and Proksh Gyan. What does that mean? Proksh Gyan means the wisdom which is gained through reading the Holy Scriptures and listening to the saints, listening to the path of God, learning about it, reading it in Holy Scriptures. And Aproksh Gyan means that wisdom which is gained by actually practicing the scriptures. Those are the two eyes. Learning and in practice through meditation, through Aproksh Gyan, actually seeing that Lord with our eyes. So they are the two eyes with which we are going to see the Lord Shant. Guruji then says, Jini Haraprabha Ditta Tin Kurbani Ram. I am Kurbani, I am a sacrifice to those who have Ditta, who have seen my Haraprabha, my Vahiguru. Say Sachi Dargah Pane Ram. In the Sachi Dargah means the true court of God. Pane, they are approved by Vahiguru. Vahiguru blesses them. Thakur Mane, those who are loved by their Thakur, their Lord, those who are, have pleased their Lord. Say Pradane, they are above and beyond everyone else. They are lights amongst the, the people. Har Seti Rangarate, because they are Rate, they are totally imbued with Rang, with love for their Lord Vahiguru. Har Rasaha Akai. They are satisfied. All of their thirst have been put out through Hararasaha, through the essence of God and God's love, Sahaj Samai, and they are Samai, they've merged into complete peace, Sahaj. Kat Katan Maya Jati. And now they Jati, they know that wherever they look in Kat Kata, in each heart, Ramaya, that Lord abides. Sayi Sajan, those people who can see this and those people who know this, they are the true friends. Santa, they are the true saints, say so kiye, and they are truly happy in this world. Thakur apne paane, who have paane, who have pleased their Lord. Kaho nanak jin har prab ditha. Sadhguru ji says, those people who have ditha, who have seen my har prab, my vahiguru, tine kaya sad kurbane, I am sad, I am forever kurbane, a sacrifice to those great souls. Slok. Another slok, Sadhguru ji Maharaj ji blessing us with, dehe antari ant sunni naam vihuniya. Maharaj Sahib, Satguru Sahib Ji is saying that the day, this body, is antari, is blind, blinded by ignorance, and it abides within the world which is full of and, which is full of darkness. And Satguru Sahib Ji is saying, the Deh Antari and this ignorant soul is abiding within the dark world which is full of this illusion of Maya. And Sadhguru Sahib Ji says, Sunni Naam Vihuniya. Vihuniya, without the name of God, this body is Sunni, is totally barren. You know, like a house where no one lives, we find it eerie. Those places which have no human beings living in them, where no one lives, we Sometimes it, it, people rumour that, oh, they're haunted. But Pagat Kabir Ji tells us on Ang 1374 Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Kabir Jaakar Sadhana Sevi hai. Those houses, and in, within those bodies, Kar also means the body as well, those bodies, those people, and within those houses where there's no service performed for the saints or God, and do not, those people who do not serve the Lord or Wahiguru or the saints, those places are marhat, those places are cremation grounds, they're like burial grounds. And the people who live within them are like ghosts, are like demons. Sadhguru is saying that body where there's no naam, Sadhguru is saying that it's like a crematorium, it's like a burial ground, it's like a, a graveyard. Sunni is completely barren. On the other hand, Guru Sahib Ji then says, Nanak, Sadhguru Sahib Ji says, Safal Janam, those persons, Janam, those people's life is Safal, is blessed. Jaya Kat, in whose cut, in whose heart, Vutha, comes to abide, Sajjadani, my true Lord, Shanta. Tin Khaniya Vanya, 
even if I was to be sacrificed and cut into pieces, I wouldn't care for those people, Guruji says. I would love it. Dinamira Haraprab Dutaram, who have Dita have seen my Haraprab, my Lord. Janachak Agane. Those humble servants are Agane are satisfied by tasting, by chak. Chak means taste. Harahar Amrit Mitara. The Amrit, the immortal nectar, the sweet Mita nectar of Harahar of Vahiguruji's name, of God's name. Har Manaha Mita. In their minds they find Mita, they find the Lord sweet in their Manaha, in their minds. Prabhu Tutha, but this is only through the Tutha, the grace of Prabhu of Vaheguru. Amyo Vutha Sokape. When Vutha means to burst within them, when this immortal nectar bursts within them, when they have the fountains of this immortal nectar flowing with them, Sokape, they find complete and utter peace. Dokh Nas. Their pains are Nas, are eradicated. And which pains are there in Gurbani? Sadhguru Nanak Dev Ji tells us on Ang 1256 what pains there are, the four main pains of life. Dokhve Choda, the first pain is of separation, Ik Dokh the second pain is of hunger, spiritual or physical, Ik Dokh Sakt Var Jamdud, the third pain is when we die, when our accounts are being read and by the messengers of death, Ik Dokh Rog Lagay Tanatai, and the, four, the fourth pain is of disease, again physical or spiritual disease. Or mental. These four pains envelop the rest of the pains of the world. And Guru Sahib Ji is telling us here that those dukh, all of those dukh can be nas, can be eradicated, all of those four pains. The pain of separation, the pain of hunger, the pains of death, and the pains of disease. Parama binas tante. And from our tana, from our body, all of Param, all of the doubt can be eradicated. Now, when we read this line Param, we must realize that spiritual scholars have defined five main types of Param, main types of doubt. And those five are Pe, the first is Pe, the Param. Where we don't realize that Vahiguruji is one and all the souls are one. Pe, the literally means to find a difference and we're always seeing differences in God we're not seeing that God is one and pervading to all the second param the second doubt is kartattva param and with this kartattva param we have the idea that we're creators that we can create something that we can make us we can make a family we can make this and that that's the second doubt the third doubt that we have is sangha param that we believe that our body is truly us, that this body that we have is us. That's another doubt. The fourth doubt is Bakar Param. That this world is full of Bakar, that all this world is is just sins and bad things and pleasures of the world. But we have to realize that Really, this world is Karup is the is the form of the Lord, and the fifth param, the fifth doubt is Satyat Param, where we believe that w- the world is separate from God and will remain forever. So these five param, these five types of doubt are all taken away. Jap Jagdis Isah Jaya by meditating upon the Lord of this world, we cru- we gain jaya jaya, we gain victory over these five types of param, five types of doubt, and these four types of pain. Moh rahat bikar thakke. We become rahat, we become, we rise above moha attachment, bikar thakke. Those gurmukh pyare, when that amrit within them, when that immortal nectar rises within them, bikar thakke. And their sins are thakke, are all gone. Panchate Sangatuta and they are broken from the Panjavishe which we call the five senses. What are they? Shabd Suparsh Roop Ras Gand. Shabd means sound with their ears. Suparsh touching with the skin, Roop looking at forms with the eyes, Ras tasting and feeling pleasure either with the tongue or with the sexual organs and gand 
smelling with the nose we rise above these five senses and within us we find the Shabbat which is within us the true sound which emanates that instrument which plays within without the need of any air without the need of any striking that drum which beats within us of God and so Sadhguru says that through the Amritanam we rise above those five and then in the last line of this chant, the Guruji says, Koh Nanak din khandiyya vanya. Sadhguruji says, I am a sacrifice them again and again, Jinnakat, in whose hearts, Mira Har Pravuta, in whose hearts, my Lord, my Vahi Guruji, abides. Slok. Sadhguruji, Sadhguru Sahib Ji, in this slok says, Jo Lodi De Ram. Those Gurmukh Pyare, who Lodi De, who, Seek out Ram, my Lord, my Vaheguru. Jo Lodi De Ram, Sevak Sei Kantea. Only those are Kantea are known to be Sevak, are known to be servants of the Lord who are searching for Him day and night. Nanak Jane Sat. Sadhguru says, I know this to be Sat, to be the truth. Sai Santana Bahara. Vaheguruji is not separate, is not Bahara from his saints. Vaheguruji, God lives within his saints. Sadhguruji says, I know this for sure. Shant. Mele jal jalaha katana ram. Just as the jal, as water mixes with water, sang jyoti jyot milana ram. As the light, as one light merges into another, sang maya purna purkha karte. In the same way, God's servants, Smai, they merge in with that Pur and with that Vaheguru is pervading through all Purk who is the eternal being, Karta who is the creator. They merge in with him, Aap Aap Mahajaniya. And through merging with him, they, they realize what their true identity is. Tahasun Sahaj Samad Lagi. Then what happens in that state of being? They go into a state of Sun of complete bliss, Sahaj, complete peace, samadhi where they are completely merged in with that Lord, they see nothing else ek, ek vakhaniya and they only speak and they only hear and they only listen to that one, all they see like Paikani Yaji in the battlefield he only sees one Lord wading through Hindu, Hindu, Muslim and Sikh Aap Gupta, Aap Mukta they realize that Vahiguruji himself, himself is Gupta, he's Nirgun, without form, Aap Mukta, he is with form Aap Gupta, he is the one who is Unmanifest, Ab Mukta, he is the one who is manifest in through the Guru and Mukta and, and is releasing and liberating all. Ab Ab Vakana. And through the Guru, he speaks of himself. Through Satguru Nanak Dev Ji, he sings his own praises and sings his own path to himself. Nanak Pram Pa Gona Binase. O Nanak, O Satguru, Satguru saying the Pram, those Param which we've talked about before, the seven types of doubt, and Pair, uh, sorry, the five types of doubt which we talked about b- before, and Pair, fear. Now there are seven types of fear. The first type is Yahpa, where we are afraid of other creatures might attack us, they might eat us. The second is Pralok Pair. Where you're afraid of the next world, what will happen? Will we be beaten by the messengers of death? The third is Janam Vedana, the pain which we go through of being born and dying. Jat Jati Pair, where the four, this is the fourth, where different groups of beings fear each other. Like when Aurangzeb was attacking the Hindu priests. The fifth one is Anarakya Pair, where we believe, where we're in fear that no one can save us. Gupta Pair, we fear those things which are Gupta, which cannot be seen, like the snake in the grass. And Aksmatar Pair, se- uh, that, uh, that's the seventh Aksmatar, where we're afraid of 
those things which we don't know, which we don't expect happening. Accidents, the unthinkable happening. And Guruji says, the five types of doubt, the seven types of bear, the seven types of fear, and the guna, the three gunas, the sato, rajo, tamo guna, the three types of feeling which are, which are within us, the sato, the completely pacifist, the rajo, the, the kingly, and tamo, the dark, all these three qualities are dispelled, are gone. Mila jala jala hakutana. And that soul becomes one with Brahm. Like water falls into water. May Sadhguru Sahib Ji do kirpa upon us today that we are able to experience that through their grace. And may Guru Ji do kirpa that our eyes ears and tongues hands and feet all our organs work for the betterment of ourselves the betterment of mankind in his grace aap gupta aap mukta aap aap vakhana nanak bhram pai gun bina se mele jalo jal hai khatana wahe guru ji